Hey guys, the Lord here, back in another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Jim Gordon as Batman, because who else could possibly take up the mantle of the Dark Knight other than Mr. Bruce Wayne himself? Then the man, the myth, the legend, Jim Gordon, who's been at Batman's side since, I don't want to say day one, but pretty early on, right? And uh, for those of you who are fans of the Gotham TV series, other than the animated one and for kicks and giggles, the 66 one, best Jim Gordon, in my opinion. If you ask me, there's no top in that. That was a great show. Why did they not continue that? And as a matter of fact, one of the better Batmans, even though he doesn't say much of crap when he's actually Batman and doesn't do much of crap when he's actually Batman. He's only there for like, I don't know, maybe five ten minutes so uh yeah says a lot when the show is well written and uh, a story is very very much rich with character development so with that being said this of course is brought to us by the fine folks over at mcfarland toys and to say that i was debating on passing on this figure is an understatement because i have the old mattel dc multiverse version of jim gordon batman because well, they actually made the rookie robot that goes with him. Very curious if we'll see a rookie mega figure at some point this year, since we did not last year. Didn't get a whole lot of mega figs last year, actually. Uh, we got the Justice Buster, Hulk of Abominus, Calabac, 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 and the anti Monet War. And then I think there was one for the Aquaman movie, maybe two. But uh, other than that, nothing really to write home about. Uh, oh, yeah, we got the Doomsday, which. Um, was like both the coolest and most disappointing mega figure of the year so uh, maybe we'll talk about that in the top multiverse of 2023 video maybe we won't because it's really late to be doing that type of stuff but i do still need to do my top figures and while this guy definitely not a contender he's fun i like messing with this figure i feel safe if that's the right word messing with this figure because that old mattel one uh, say what you will about McFarlane, but Mattel did have their issues, especially later on with the multiverse line. Uh, some of the knee joints were very fragile on those figures because of the way they were assembled. But uh, we ain't talked about Mattel, we talked about McFarlane. And as far as I'm concerned, this guy is definitely making up for a, um, dare I say, overpriced collectibuild wave right now because he actually comes with accessories several accessories if that uh starting off he's got a reversed pair of hands so we got a fist hand and a grip hand for the opposite sides which is nice he's got a pair of open hands kind of open hands i don't know very odd expression on those hands pose on those hands I would have rather the thumb was more out to the side myself and then we have a pair of well another pair of hands but we get a thumbs up and we get a pointing finger so that's fun very curious if these are the same hands from Captain Carrot because he comes with a lot of hands too that said, we also get an alternate head, which is just unheard of with this line, but we do get that. And we do get a grapple gun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Mattel one came with a taser that went into the holster on his hip there. Which, uh, this guy's is a non-functioning holster, but that's okay, I guess. Because we do get this. I don't think this is reused. And as far as I know, this does not come out. But it kind of feels like a separate piece. It could be one piece, but there you go. Grapple gun. And then, uh, last but not least, this isn't really of much use to him, but he does come with a collectible trading card. Now, I'm curious if we're going to get a bio from this actual story arc, or if we're going to get a generic Jim Gordon bio. Commissioner James Gordon was invited to head up Gotham City's Batman Task Force 
this is the new Batman for a time. Gordon got into shape and became the best Batman he could be, piloting a giant mechanical suit which he affectionately referred to as Rookie. Dot. Multiverse. Do Cyrillic letter at. And there you go. So, yeah, pretty much fills in for Batman as a giant mech suit. Named him Rookie. Maybe it was the son he never had. Oh, And, um, uh, did a pretty good job, as far as I could tell, based off that bio. So, again, kind of makes sense that old Jimbo would take up the mantle as the Dark Knight. If, uh, Bruce Wayne were to disappear on us. I mean, I don't know who else they could have. I mean, there's Nightwing, Dick Grayson, or um, even Alfred. Because Alfred can throw down too, you know. Not, not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people give Alfred the credit he deserves, I swear. But uh, as far as this figure goes, this is the same body buck as the Walmart exclusive Beast Boy I looked at a few weeks back. Um, almost a month back, probably, at this point, right? So it's very slender. Uh, it works. I think the uh, Mattel one looked a little better aesthetically. I like the bulkier, slightly bulkier proportions of that one. Honestly, I'm surprised this is not on the uh, the Nightfall Nightwing body. The Nightfall figure we looked at yesterday. Or Nightwing figure we looked at yesterday, excuse me. And uh, that Nightwing is not on this body. Because this body is... Uh, pretty much built for Nightwing. I will say, I don't care for the extra, like, cuffs around the ankles here. Or what looks to be a seam line for the neck. They've never, as far as I know, painted the, uh, the neck on this body. I don't know if this is supposed to be a collar. If it is, that's kind of lazy. But, you know, it's okay if they don't paint something, right? As long as you like it, it doesn't matter what the flaw is. That's a dig at somebody I know, but, uh... <laughs> well, that's another story for another day. Um, but as far as articulation goes, this guy is the double ball pig in the head. Not a lot of range, unfortunately. But you do get a little bit. He does have some tilt. He does have some rotation side to side. His arms can go out about a right angle does have that rotator cap give you plenty of range out of that rotates of course bicep swivel double elbow plenty out of that no jarring gaps either and then the hand is of course on the ball hinge so you can hinge rotate rotate pretty easily there pretty easily there torso is on the double ball peg you can't really lean it too well without using the waist but he does get some lean forward and back regardless um, he does have some rotation up there and some tilt And again, he does have some movement in the waist, but it is hindered by the diaper a little bit. He's got the belt with the thigh pad there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, his belt should go across the waist and uh, have another strap going down to the thigh pad. Am I, am I wrong on that one? Because that's how the Mattel one looked. I can only assume the Mattel one is a little more accurate, maybe. Maybe? I'm not sure, but... Uh, the hips can kick forward, back a little bit, kick out pretty far. And with this thigh pad, I think he can kick out you know, almost as far as that other one. Does have a little thigh quiver in there. Very generous for a multiverse. Double knee. Works just fine. No jarring cuts there other than maybe that one. does have a uh, ball hinge foot so you can rotate hinge rock and then the toe joints are pretty well placed and not too loose so 
Uh, yeah, solid Batman figure. Super duper solid. Comes with a lot of accessories. I'm sure they're interchangeable with somebody. Um, the, uh, is that one Superman from the Flash line? I think he's got black hands, doesn't he? So you could easily swap them out with him. Because I think he only came with an open hand and a uh, fist hand. But uh, very, very nice. I like him a lot. And I don't have really anything to compare this guy to that's directly associated with him. Because we never really get any characters from the story arc other than uh, Jimbo Bats and the Rookie. So, uh, just because I'm curious how he stacks with a Mega Fig that I think will be about the same size as the Rookie. Here he is with the Anti-Monitor. He was large and in charge. If I pan the camera up here, you can see that. Yeah, that's probably an appropriate scale. I don't know if you can even see the anti monitor's head there, but that's probably an appropriate scale if I had to guess. Um, the rookie is not the biggest thing ever, but he is pretty sizable. I know the metal one is pretty decent. As far as size goes, he's a very large and in charge type character. But, uh, you know, this is just anti monitor. Rookie, of course, is going to have those big shoulder cannons and the, uh, the bat wings on the side of his head. One of those Optimus Prime ears, as I like to call them. But that's uh, Jim Gordon Batman in a nutshell, man. Uh, other than, of course, the obvious. Size comparison with our two regulars, the Mythic Legions, Brother Mandibulus, and the infamous, a little bit spawny. That about does it for this review. Let me pan the camera back down. Got a lot of airspace there. Got a lot of airspace there. There we go. That's better. So, uh, that's a wrap, folks. So, with that being said, it's time now that we wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and even if you are like yours truly and already have the Jim Gordon Batman from the Mattel DC Multiverse line, I think the one from the fine folks over at McFarland Toys here has plenty to offer to warrant having both. The Mattel one, aesthetically, I think looks a lot better. I really do. That said, the McFarlane one is a little bit more playable. You can play with it. You can mess around with it. You can mess with it. It's a lot more user-friendly in the fact that, yeah, I can pose them around and get them into all kinds of different poses without worrying about snapping something because that was kind of an issue with the later Mattel figures the way they made the joints at least initially when they were in the was it red black and orange box I don't know they went through like several packaging changes either way some of those single jointed elbows and knees were a little bit on the fragile side this guy definitely doesn't have that going on thankfully and while it is recycled parts, for the most part, they are very much welcome because these are decent parts. This is a decent body buck for a slender build. Something I think the Nightfall Nightwing that we took a look at yesterday may have benefited from being on over the body they actually put that figure on. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, I'll catch you guys. Later.